Hey guys, and welcome back to The Mercenaries. When we last left off, we were going to make our way back to the Chinese. Or were we going to go do the South Koreans? Um, no, let's go do the Chinese, because why not? We're already pointing in that direction anyway. Guys, please do not shoot up my vehicle. Oh, fucking hell. That's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, Jesus. Everything's fine. It's all fine. There we go. Pulled it off. Now, keep your eye out for boxes. You know the sort of boxes we like. Ouch. Not those sort of boxes. Now, forwards. Um, Can we actually... Yeah, we can get there this way. It's fine. It's a little bit dodgy, a little bit jank. But hey, that's the life we live for, you know? We like to live on the edge. Is that... That is a helicopter. Hmm. I like the idea of that helicopter. Oh, God. Jeez. Come on. Come on, Betsy. Don't let us down now. Oh. This vehicle's not fast, is it? I am starting to wonder if I've made a grave mistake getting this vehicle. It is a bit of a turd. Oh, we're going back this way. I mean, there are other vehicles here, but we'll go grab one from here. This thing is so bad. Right. Dudes, I need your vehicle. I hope you don't mind. Your vehicle is definitely a little bit quicker than mine. And mine is really beaten up as well. Uh, yes. That's better. Nice. Alright. Foot down. Yep, that's much better than that piece of scrap we've been driving. Ah, oh, God. Spirit of speed. Now let's go through Nampo. And keep following this road round. Oh, we're already at the airport. I was going to cut that journey out, but <laughs> we're like already there. Nice. Hopefully they're going to have some cool hardware for us. Whoa. This thing handles like a piece of shit. Ooh. The van there with like fruit, veg, and all sorts of yummies in there. Dude, seriously? Can you stop shooting me? I think, oh, I think I've proved that I'm not a crazy North Korean coming in here to steal your thunder or something. All right, let's go check out the China Guard. Well, do you have any goodies like locked up around here? I know we harvested pretty much everything, including these weird floating boxes, which I don't know is emulation issues or just the way the game is. Okay. Now, let's go see what our Chinese overlords want. Looking for more money, eh? Mercenary? Always looking for more money. You are prompt and discreet. Of this I approve. I have another contract for you. Song's men ambushed the convoy of our troops traveling to Heiju. One of my officers is still alive, though he is surrounded by Song's men. He is waiting for reinforcements and an escort to Heiju. I cannot spare the troops. I cannot spare that officer either. It is up to you to rescue him and get him safely to Heiju. Huh. Well, uh, escort mission. I've played Resident Evil 4 before. I think we can do this. 4,000 pound bomb. Oof. So we have artillery. We have art artillery barrage. Scout delivery. Hmm. Okay. Gotta say, I never thought you'd end up a paid escort. Correction. A well paid escort. <laughs> Oofed. Right, okay. So let's go sort him out. Now they've given us some stuff, but we've got to pay for it. Well, they've given us a free artillery strike. But the artillery barrage is much better. But we've got to pay for that. We don't really want to pay for that. Because we don't like spending out money in this game unless we have to. And there may come a time where we have to get the toys out. But I don't think we're quite there yet. Famous last words. Now, where is this gentleman? Oh, we always go the wrong way. And by we, I of course mean me. 
Um, let's, yeah, we just follow this road round. Right, I'm going to cut this journey out. See you guys in a minute. Well, it looks like we may have just found our vehicle. This is going to hurt. Yep, ouch. Um, dude. Dude, can you die so I can have this, please? Thank you. Whoa, nice moves, Jennifer. <laughs> the guy's just wasting his own men. I love it. All right, let's get out of here. T-54. This will do nicely. I'm almost there. Oh, we've got bonus targets here. Uh, destroy a North Korean outpost along the way. Um, I think we can do that because we're driving around in this bad boy. All right. Hey, guys. Well, bye, guys. Ooh. It's like a Sam site. Oh, we'll take that bastard out. Okay. Now, here is our friend, though. Doesn't look like he's in too much trouble, actually. Only trouble is, if he gets in here, he's going to be quite exposed. Get him, buddy. Yes. That's the plan. Right. Don't die, please, dude. I know that's not necessarily easy. What is that? I don't know what that was, but we destroyed it. Let's rain death down on this place from as far away as possible. Okay, good stuff. Now, unfortunately, he is quite exposed in his turret. Ooh, it's very exposed, especially when it comes to RPGs. Yep. Right, there we go. Let's bring this tower down. Really don't want to be hit by RPGs. Don't think the officer dude will survive an RPG to the face. I'm just saying. Oh. I mean, maybe he will. Let's just keep destroying all of this equipment. We've actually got quite a lot of stuff here. Nice. Ooh, you stupid bastards. There we go. Look all these SAM launchers they've got here. Right, I'm going to say this place has been leveled. Hmm. Let's see if there's any goodies around. See if we can scavenge anything. Right, dude, I kind of want you to stay in the tank. I don't want you to risk getting killed. I think that's a fairly legitimate, reasonable request. There's a lot of health crates there if you need one, buddy. Not that I think you can pick one up. That would be cool, actually, if they could. Hmm. Yeah, we've flattened this place. All right, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Get back in the armor. Right, back in the armor, buddy. Where are you? Oh my god, you're walking like you shit yourself. Maybe you did. Damn, look at this place. Smoked. Let's get rid of that. Oh, she's burning. The only problem with these shells, they do go through vehicles sometimes. Oh, fuck. Can you light them up, please? Nice. Okay, don't like seeing those RPG guys. I always panic. It's probably not a good idea to keep drinking whilst driving. Not that kind of drinking. Summer fruits. Summer fruit squash. Ooh, it's an orchard. Wonder if they've got cider. A cider farm around here somewhere. Alright. Ooh. That's a two for one. Reload. Give him another one. Give him another one. Whoa. 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 Ha <laughs> ha. I do love the carnage in this game. We've got 12 shells left. And we've got some heavy armor up here. So, let's be a little bit more careful. 
plow the road. There we go. Nice. Dude, feel free to use that machine gun. Although, I think the machine gun is possibly out of ammo. Which is why he's rattling away. But nothing's actually happening. Which is fantastic. We do like it when that happens. I think if your machine gun's empty, dude, you should just, you know, like, bury your head in the sand. Just bunk it down, I'm just saying. Better than risking getting killed. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a mercenary. But here we are in Heiju. And we actually did that in some pretty good time. Um, right. Ugh, let's turn this piece of shit round. Alright, guys, can you clear the way, please? Thank you. Nah. Dude, seriously, why are you trying to get under my tank? Mission complete. Nice. Okay, I was like, is this mission not going to end? What's going on here? Not bad. 80 grand in the bank. Ooh, Chinese Type 89 APC. What is one of those? Ooh, 40,000. The APC with attitude. Oh, and we got the Mafia Technical AT. TOW armed pickup. Hmm. If you do a lot of traveling in the Northwest, you'll want to do so in safety and obscurity. The Chinese will think you're one of their own, and the North Koreans will run in fear from your mighty missile launcher. Yes. Not bad. Okay, cool. Let's go back talk to the Chinese, shall we? I'm going to roll my ass very slowly back towards the Chinese chappy and have a little word with him. So, if nothing else interesting happens, I'll catch you guys back up there. And we're back at the Chinese, guys. So, just before we carry on, I did notice this slipped aside. So, let's see what else we've got around here. There definitely is more um, stuff spawned in, I think. Because we pretty much liberated, <coughs> liberated everything around here, as far as I remember. I'm sure, I'm sure we did. But now I'm kind of curious to see what else is tucked away. Nope. Just oh shit! It's just do a bit of a lap around here, see if we can find any goodies. I don't really want to go blasting the Chinese. Not really. I don't really like blasting any of the factions, to be fair. Uh, apart from the North Koreans, of course. Right, anyway, yeah, I think we're good. We're good. So, let's get out of here. Let's go towards... Which is the closest way to the Chinese? Is it that way? No, we want to go up this big road up here. Okay, cool. Not bad. Um, I think it's going to be a lot harder to actually track down everything. I did look up a guide a little while ago to try and find out where everything has been stashed and hidden. But, unfortunately, like the guides for this game are so old. Uh, the only, I found two, and they both did the same thing, which was a big wall of text and bullet points trying to describe where all of the items are. And ain't nobody got time for that. So... I think maybe back in the day I probably would have tried it, but these days, nah, I ain't got the attention span to read hundreds, literally hundreds of lines of text to find all these uh, all these items. So, anyway, that was weird. We just had a bit of a pause. Let's go talk to these guys. Persuasion. Persuasion. Hmm. Excellent. You are prompt and discreet. Of this I approve. I have another contract for you. Good. The South Koreans are moving their troops through the propaganda village and reinforcing their position at the Yan. I have stationed troops in the Bo village to ambush them. You will go there and aid them. You will, of course, be paid well for your efforts. Hmm. Okay. 
That we can do. So. So we have the artillery strike added. What else have we got? Artillery barrage. Giving us all the same things again. We've got the scout again. But he's just, he, the trouble is, he's a bit of a crafty bugger. He's allowing us access to this stuff, but he wants money for it. I'm sure we'll be able to play both sides to our Yes, well, we're already, we're already in hot water with the South Koreans. So, uh, I don't really want to upset these guys too much more. I think, from what I can remember of this game, as it get as, as it goes on, it does start getting really messy, which is a shame. Right, because keeping them both happy with you is not easy. What do we actually have to do? Protect the Chinese officers. Bonus: no Chinese officers killed. Uh, so, once the Ch South Koreans learn that the Chinese are intent on holding the propaganda village, they will definitely try to destroy the center of command. Make sure you protect the Chinese officers marked in your SNS. All their defenses will be overrun. Yeah, the, uh, mm, okay. We're definitely going to have to upset these guys a little bit more. Which is a problem. I think we're going to have to spend a lot of money trying to bribe these guys okay before we can actually you know um do some missions for them which is going to be a pain it's a shame there's no there's no way of making everybody happy with you oh or maybe there is maybe there is one way of uh going around um like if you do the chinese first etc but i'm not sure i'm pretty sure eventually you're going to end up upsetting somebody and then you have to get your bank, your bank card out. Because there's no way, I don't think, of appeasing them without actually, uh... Yeah, look, these, yeah, these, these checkpoints do reset. They don't stay destroyed. Which is disappointing. That would have been fun. Let's go off-road a little bit. We've got a long way to go. Bloody hell. Back through the orchard. Okay. Hello. You came off worse than we did. I wouldn't like to be the guy on the gun. I think he's just shit himself and broke both his wrists. But hey, that's fine. That's what he gets paid for. Or something. Okay. Keeping my eyes out for goodies, but I can't see any. I really would like to know if they reset. But it doesn't look like they do. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is going to be sucky. How do we do this? Oh, it's raining. How do we do this without getting in trouble? Or minimizing the amount of trouble that we do get into? Propaganda village. Well, this place is shit. This is going to be hard to keep everyone alive, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're in business. We have a Type 80. Hopefully, this should be able to keep most things at bay. Now, obviously, yes. Uh, hopefully, we're not going to get in too much trouble here because we're disguised as Chinese. But that's only going to last so long. I'm not going to guarantee we're going to do this without getting any of these guys killed, but we shall certainly try. Now, where are they? Come on, you bastards. Come on. Oh, really? They literally just appear. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, the only trouble is the turret turns so slow. We're going to want to be very careful here. 
I'm hoping if we stay close to these guys. Oof. Yeah. Or if we minimize the amount of killing that we do. And maybe just disable their equipment. The Russians, well, yes. Come on. Let's get around over there. We're getting blocked here pretty badly. There they come. Oof. Oof. Okay, we didn't get in any trouble for that. We didn't get in any trouble at all for destroying that guy. So, that's the thing. Damn it. So hard to aim this tank. Right. Ooh, they're gone. What about behind us? Ah, maybe they're not going to come behind us. Maybe they're only going to assault from the front. If they only come from head on, that's going to be a lot easier. Uh, oh, oh, God. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that helicopter is a beast. It's uh, the Lynx helicopter. I used to love that thing. Yes, of course, the Lynx helicopter was the stealth chopper that the Americans were experimenting with, and they eventually cancelled it. Sadly. Come on. Come on. Get those shells in there. There we go. Beautiful. Smashed them. Someone's shouting his mouth off. Okay. Well, they've lost the helicopter and they've lost an awful lot of ground troops. Ooh. Just sniped his ass out then. Sniped him with a tank shell. Like Fury. That was a good film. That was a very good film. Who's next? You got any helicopters? This <laughs> We're just like the gatekeeper here. You shall not pass. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Ooh, we got him. We got him. We got him. He's burning. He's burning. He's had enough. Next. Ooh, hello. Came a bit quicker than I... Th Whoops. This is bad news. Because we need to go make friends with them in a minute. And I don't really know how we're going to go make friends with them. Oh, wait, I know how you do it. I think you just go into this. Yeah, hostile. There is some... Oh, shit. Somewhere... Get back in, get back in, get back in. Somewhere we can go spend some money. And... Come on. There we go. Make them all friends of us again. It might actually be something to do with the Russians, thinking about it. Not sure, though. Come on. There's a, too much wreckage blocking the way. Ooh. Destroy South Korean APC. Oh, okay. Well, I would if I could. There it is. Come on. Ooh. Nice. Wow. They actually lost a lot of equipment there. Good job. South Korean should think twice before taking on Peng and us. Yeah. That was a lot of money, though. Oh, we've got the BMP APC. What does that do for us exactly? Ooh, the Go Anywhere APC. In service since 1967. Oof. The BMP sports a 73mm cannon and can traverse nearly any terrain. It carries up to four additional passengers. Okay. Um, now. Oh, dear. I don't know how we're going to make these guys friendly to us again. I don't know. Um, but we are going to get out of here. I'm quite happy how that went. We did manage to um, keep them friendly and save everybody, I should say. We saved all of the officers, which is good. It's just like a random news reporter there. Oh, now we've got to go all the way back. All the bloody way back, which might mean we have to abandon this tank. Because as cool as the tank is, it's so freaking slow. Ugh. Yeah, let's just abandon this thing. 
I hate to do it. I really do. Let's call in. I don't know. Let's go for a vehicle. Uh, let's see what that's like. Hot off the assembly line. What else can we call in? Let's go for this bad boy. And my phone's going crazy because, of course, it is. Right. There we go. I mean, it's only 24 okay, grand, which actually is quite a lot of money. Special delivery. And I need to mute my phone. Uh, phone, mute, please. Thank you. There we go. Right, let's take this bad boy for a spin, shall we? I'm hoping it's going to be fast. Uh, it's not fast. Okay. Maybe it builds the speed up over time. I mean... Eh? It, it, hmm. It's faster than the tank. We'll give it that. Considering this is fresh off the assembly line. Hopefully there's not going to be any maintenance issues. As you look at some of these civilian cars driving around, they look like they're just ready to fall apart and that's one thing that I would like to see actually with um, Grand Theft Auto I'd like to see um, vehicles actually like stop working and stuff that would be cool kind of had that a little bit with Grand Theft Auto 4 I think I can't really remember GTA 5 very well um, ways you could find those hunks of junk on the side of the road that was smoking and uh, didn't work very well and I'd like cars to run out of fuel as well how cool would that be to have to pull into the petrol station and refuel and stuff like that? Or, you know, just steal another car. I don't know why. It's kind of like a weird kink that I've always had. But I'd love to see um, some more interesting vehicle maintenance in those games. I know, I know. Vehicles are meant to be fun and disposable. But I would prefer if the vehicles felt a little bit more owned. Especially the ones you bought. What the hell? Oh, they're firing off TOW missiles and all sorts over there. I don't know what, uh, what the fuck that's about. Right. Let's go back see our Chinese friends in our sporty new number. And it's a little bit like this as well. Um, I mean, we just spent 24 grand on this. And this thing is very disposable. It kind of discourages you from spending out on vehicles unless you need them for a certain situation because that's 24 grand we've just burnt through and all we're doing is one journey with it depending I mean it depends what the next mission is I suppose right totally <laughs> nah what's up mate do you not like my hummer it's a beast Right, let's go talk to this gentleman and get another mission. I agree, buddy. Couldn't understand a word he said. Big words. Excellent. You are part of the suite. Of this I approve. I have another contract for you. Okay. Song's troops control an artillery base near Cape Song. Traditionally, its guns were aimed south. But now that our presence in the area is secure, he aims his guns at us. Take out the artillery under Commander Colonel Wan Che Gao. The Allies designate him the King of Diamonds. Hmm. Final mission for the Chinese already. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, we will do that in the next videos, guys, because we're out of time. So... Oh, I don't think we're going to worry too much about this, dude. Oh, I can't bring up my thingy-me-jig. So let's just accept the contract. When we come back, we will sort him out. So what are they going to give us? Artillery. Artillery barrage. Yep, they're going to charge us for it. We've got a scout, which they're going to charge us for. Chinese supply and drop. I guess they're giving us this stuff at a reduced rate. To returning the favor. Well, that's going to be fun. Um, yeah. 
Alright, well, the sooner he's behind bars, the better. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.